那么下面要唱一首歌曲，是最近新新学了一首歌曲啊，嗯，比较比较难唱，比较大，就是来自王菲的一首歌曲，叫做《如愿》啊。希望今天一次唱。What's his name？ 李健。<笑> he says、uh, he just learned this new song. Have I heard this song? Okay. Have I compared him to Michael Bublé before, or a jazz singer?、Uh... Maybe, maybe not him, but I. I do always get that vibe from the. I've seen him a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it he has this very cool, like he's very cool, very casual, very subtle, very subdued, but actually very this kind of singer, whatever language, culture, whatever you want to say, is very easy to listen to. Yeah, it's very peaceful to just tune in and enjoy. There's nothing too obtrusive. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> 生与你相拥，而我将爱你所爱的人间，愿你所愿的笑颜。你的手我蹒跚在前，请带我去明天。如果说你曾哭过我的天，我愿活成你的愿，愿不忘啊，愿永忘啊。I actually really do appreciate this performance and this style of singing. Again, to make a song, a passage, a melody feel easy, so that the listener never really has to consider if it's difficult, or the listener never has to. There's there's no specific moments. I mean, he will. I'm assuming as the song unfolds, there's going to be some apex moments. But I just, I'm just drawing attention to the fact that there is something very special about a singer who can deliver a song without pointing giant arrows at bells and whistles and moments, and just having it be beautiful. And it doesn't mean he's not doing. Beautiful things, or utilizing many techniques, it's that he's utilizing his voice well and utilizing the techniques well, and in such a way that we just enjoy the song easily. That's that's to be valued, I believe. Yeah. The trumpet makes it feel Spanish. He's kind of dressed like a daddy, <laughs> like pleated、yeah. daddy pants. He looks nice. But he could like unbutton one, hey? It's, it's a little. Is he quite serious? serious? Yeah, he seems. And his vibrato, hey? Very tucked in, very subdued, very little. Um, very different than many.、Mm-hmm. I think part of that is what gives me the jazz vibe too.、Mm. It, it makes it very not showy. It's、mm. just very tucked in. Like it's very little and. I 
This melody kind of feels like what I would identify as a lullaby. Mm. Um, am I understanding we're going to hear this song a, a couple more times? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I'm curious, because of his style, I'm curious if the other takes will keep washing over me with that lullaby vibe. This melody. Feels very like. Can Oh, that's really lovely. His he voice actually is felt it more than the other songs, eh, in this one. He did, but I think the neat thing about him, as I was saying before, is that he's very not what I call... Uh, actually, that won't make sense in the context of what I've said in this video, but I call it jazz hands when somebody's like, ah, like they're just really yeah, showy everything yeah. they do. He he does actually have a very beautiful voice and very beautiful technique and a very particular technique. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. He does these little pitch bends, but I guess I guess what I was trying to say to you is he's, he's doing a lot of things. That's related to the language. It's a tone. Why is this is this is this Mandarin? Yeah, it's Mandarin. Okay, okay. So but, remember, like before, you asked me about uh, this scoop thing. Yeah, but it's different. Dun, 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 oh dun, yeah. Dun. It's it's the same. Actually. But it but it but it's not in that. That's not the context that oh, I no. meant it in. No, I I'll see if there's enough left. But okay. but I just want to say that that is why, like I can think of people in in the West that make that do really beautiful things with their voice. But the listener is not meant to say, ooh, ah, ha. It's just meant to be overall enjoyable. And I think it's very, I don't know, the like humble. Mm. It's very, it's neat to see a singer still be beautiful and still do a lot of things and still be so accurate and still bring a song to life with many different colors without being like, ah, like, yeah. it's just nice. <laughs> Like even the way he did, ding, 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 like that's I, the thing I was talking about. It is, it is, but he tends to do it not just on more staccato things, like yeah. which is more discernible for me. Mm. But with him, I notice them when he enters long notes more. I, I guess maybe it is the same thing. It's the same thing, but he puts less emphasis on the entry. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, actually, I, I actually really quite like it's him. Like hey Jude, eh? hey, hey Jude. yes, that's so good. That's a really good comparison. Yeah. I actually, I really appreciate him. Mm. Yeah. I, I do. Like bravo to this vibrato. Mm. And not, and that just goes across the board. Like that's a very modern, subdued vibrato that doesn't call attention to itself. Mm. Like this was a really, really beautiful performance. I feel as though this will be my, my favorite. Mm. I, I know there's, Whatever, I don't know what you're going to show me, but I can't see it beating this. Okay, let's see. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so his thing is short on one side. That is a signature. Really? I'm pretty sure. You have noticed that now. <laughs> Do you know that or you just... I don't know. Oh, I'm pretty sure. But now you mentioned it, yeah. 
，含蓄而广阔的诗，圆梦九天，如月以长的诗。哈哈哈 Oh, still the trumpet. Whose song is this? Actually, it's a it's a female singer, but she doesn't have a live gig that I could find.、Mm-hmm. She's not in. You. 你是遥遥的梦，深夜大雾里的灯。<笑>我是孩童啊，走在夜幕的眼眸。你是明月清风。Okay, thanks. 我是你照拂的梦。见与不见，道一声与你相拥。而我将爱你所爱的人间，愿你所愿的笑颜，你的手我蹒跚在前，请带我去明天。如果说你曾哭过，可怜。Lord, the staging. Well, I will say this. This is a similar delivery. What is the last guy's name? I'm sorry. Li Jian. Li Jian. I can't say that. <laughs> Li. 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 Jin. Jin. Yeah, that's it. You did. It. But am I really supposed to say it like that? Yes. In a sentence, like, "Hey, I really like Li Jin." You just changed it. Why? But I can't. It's too hard. Li Jin. Oh, it's hard. Can I just call him Li? Okay,、no? sure. Doesn't he have any? So many Li's. But isn't there more of it? Like, doesn't he have an English? Does he have an English? I don't think he does. Okay.、Yeah. Anyway, I do think his performance was beautiful. I do happen to be a fan of Zhou Shen, but I will say that their delivery so far is quite similar. This is obviously a higher key. As a matter of fact, I, I'm sorry, my brain can't recall. Is this an octave higher? No. Is this <laughs> is this、know. just a, a like I'm I, I'm assuming like six six semitones higher or something? I think it is. Higher, it's higher. I don't know if it's.、Uh... So he has put this in a key to highlight the the techniques that he loves using, and he loves going up into his head voice and falsetto and using the higher place in his voice. And we know his signature. I'm assuming there's going to be a break where he gets to maybe sail up into the thing he does, but maybe it is around the song or the songwriting. But so far, both of their deliveries is very sturdy, very steady. I do happen to love the tone of Zhou Shen's voice, but I like—I don't know. Li has a more—I don't know. It's deeper. It's more masculine. This is more floaty, more ethereal, more—I don't know—heavenly. But both are are quite good so far. But you know, I'm a fan of Zhou Shen. I also think this dancer is quite beautiful. So shallow. I don't even think I can repeat it. I don't do vibrato this shallow. You try. No, you already did it. That's not right. His sounds. Oh no, it's similar. It's very shallow. Good Lord, China! What even is that? Is that? It looks like a space. Yeah, like it's like an AI. Bal- no, it's a balloon. It's a, it's a spaceman. I I know it's a spaceman. <laughs> sometimes I think about, sometimes I think about for him and the other artists that do really big shows like this, what it what it is like to stand on stage and look at the absolute insanity. Like Taylor Swift, her staging is crazy. They're like scenes from、uh, crazy movies. Same with him, like to stand on stage and have like a giant spaceman behind, like it's、mm. crazy. <laughs> Wait, that's a real guy dangling. Yeah. Cold. 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 Cold
是仰望着，就把你唱成歌。你是，两是所来，也是我心之所归。归，时间所有路都将与你相通。For me, this song is one of the more palatable ones、mm. for my ear to stay with the melody. And both singers are making the Mandarin very mellow sounding. Yeah, I assume both of them are not overly enunciating.、Mm. It's like a little bit more casual and subtle. Softened a bit. Soft, yeah. That's a his thing. So he's not going into the more operatic high notes,、mm. or that you know sometimes how he'll frequently actually、mm. he'll have a breakaway passage where he'll just bust into it.、Mm. I don't think he's going to do it in this song. I think he's just using where we're at right now to just sit in the I'll say easy high notes for him. This isn't the, the gear shift where he goes into the more operatic place. It's nice. This is nice. <laughs> Like it's still really high, just to be clear. It is,、yeah. But it's different than when he like. Ooh, it's the vowel shape, right? Huge. Yeah, ah, that's yeah, 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 that's yeah. very an astute observation. He's still staying more in the, let's call it pop. Pop. Yeah. Yeah. Less yeah. Round.、Mm -hmm. and... It's high. Yeah, because he could have the. Oh, like, that's so、right? true. If you have more space and just make that spacing. So he made the choice. I agree、he、that he、did. made the choice to、he、stay more casual, more more pop.、Yeah. What is it? What did he say? Yeah, that would be classical. Classical, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, he's like, yeah. You can even see his mouth stays nice、yeah. and wide and、yeah. smiley. I like that. But you know, I do love pop.、Mm -hmm. Nice. Now accordion. Yeah. So what is this song about? That there's a spaceman and the lady and the. I think it's a tribute, a tribute to great people serving humanity. Oh. I think. That's very grand of a. A, a lot of Chinese, a lot of Chinese songs. Very like yeah, weighty. Huh. Well, that was awfully lovely. I would say I still have deep appreciation for Li Jian. 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 Yeah. But this. Maybe let's call it apples and oranges. You don't wanna、What? make a decision. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm his fan. So which one do you prefer? I will see the third one before I <laughs> I decide. <laughs> Who is this? That's a new guy. Okay.
Whoa, interesting glasses. So this is an older gentleman, I'm assuming. It is. And we already hear that he's doing a lot more enunciation, okay. let's say. Yeah. I don't know how to say this, and I considered not saying it. Um, but this seems like really cleaned up. But you know, he has a beautiful tone to his voice. I guess because I should have said that. Yeah, he, he's quite well known for. I'm sure. For great singing. I'm, I'm sure. sure. I'm sure. I'm I'm sorry. I'm finding it really distracting, so I'm just going to ask you. Mm -hmm. His lips aren't matching, but I'm assuming that's just the audio not matching up. Is that what we're assuming? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This looks more like a music video, actually, to me. Okay. But it's the closest I could find. Are these like famous Chinese people that have accomplished great, yeah, great things? Yeah, scientists. I see. Okay. I just said I don't want to talk about this, and um, I don't even know for what it's worth, but energetically, when I watch a singer sing, and I listen to a singer sing, when you listen to this big, belty, compressed thing he's doing, which is very good and, and very mm -hmm. nice, and I can see why people quite like his voice, but um, I just want you mm -hmm. specifically to watch his body and his face, mm -hmm. the muscles in his neck, his face, his, his upper body, mm -hmm. when he goes into this. Mm -hmm. Do you hear how compressed he is versus what his body is doing? Yes, this is very subtle. These are the kind of things only we okay. can notice. Yeah. Jay and I were talking about that this morning. Um, how in different musicians' specialties, mm -hmm. we are prone to notice... Actually, I'll say that even more specifically. Very, very, what are actually subtle things stick out to us in our specialty mm -hmm. very, very much. Mm -hmm. We were watching some piano players play and I was saying, man, they all sound quite similar to me. Mm -hmm. And Jay was saying, well, you know, people who specialize in this hear a bazillion Difference. differences between these performances. And it really reminded me of how I see this and I'm like, oh, this and this and this and like, look how obvious and mm -hmm. it isn't. It, it, it probably to them it's not isn't no. yes yes mm. and I think we're past I, I want us to be past the point of of thinking that it makes you bad no, no. You, you know what I mean no. but I but I guess the reason I can't the reason I'm even talking about it is because I felt as though I was just staring at the screen and not saying anything and it probably didn't make sense why I was just staring but I those dissonances when my eyes and my ears, don't line up. It, yeah. I, my, my brain just reels and I, I just obsess about it because I can't help it. Right. But it doesn't, but that's not the point. Mm. I just wanted to share that. Yeah. He does have a beautiful voice and 
he is compressing and moving into those high notes really beautifully. I don't think this is going to be my favorite performance. Um, but I do think it's good and, and sits in this pack. Like these are three very strong mm -hmm. performances. And I think the song is very strong. And based on the staging for all three, I think it's probably a very powerful song, a very an emotional song. And all three of these singers are doing that justice. I would say, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, this is like a music video. Yeah. I saw the this, yeah. yeah. The vowel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the vowels yeah. and stuff are crazy, but but whatever. I think that what's just challenging about this. I mean, music videos are, are great and fine, but this particular one is almost being shot as though it's live, and I think that's the, the weirdness to it. Well, there's no audience. Or even sometimes well, no when there are audiences. But also, yeah. as far as a music video goes, there's no scene, there's no cars, there's no street, there's no life. All we're doing is watching him in his mouth. Well, and he's his... singing in, in space. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean... And there's flashcards of great people. I understand that. Oh. That's the concept of the video. I I'm saying so, yeah. the concept of the video is still very him centric. Mm. So it, we're we're watching yes. it. Yeah, I can see why I can see why people hold him in very high regard. Mm. Listening to his his belting up here. It's a good performance. This song is kind of hard. Is it? I, I feel like it's quite hard. For well, me. it may be. That's kind of what I was saying with the very first performance is all three of these singers actually did a really good job of not being like, oh, yeah. making it into something overly showy. But that doesn't mean the song isn't difficult. Mm -hmm. It just means they're all very good singers and they all let the song speak. Mm -hmm. There, there is a there's different ways to bring a performance to the li to life, and some of them can be like listen to all the vocal things I'm doing. Some can be highlighting the lyrics. Some can be you know being more reverent to the songwriting. I feel like all three of these singers are quite strong singers, mm -hmm. so none of them needed to, felt the need to sh be sh show off. Mm. They all just paid reverence to the song, the songwriting, the lyrics, the melody, and they kind of let the attention not be on themselves, which which sounds kind of ironic because they all are prolifically beautiful vocalists, mm. but that's the difference between not kind of beating your chest and, and doing weird things for the purpose of mm -hmm. of showing yourself off. So I thought all three were strong. Probably Joe Shen was my favorite, but I thought they were all really good. And I, I, I give a very, and, and keep in mind, we really, the, the, the longer we do this project, the more I realize how much my personal preference mm. it, it is, is yeah. takes a seat before objective reality. Right. I do think I speak some objective mm -hmm. reality because I work in this industry and I do know people's taste and I do have, you know, a really great foundational knowledge. But the more we do it and the more you and I speak, Jay, the more sometimes I will po point out your biases. And every time I point out your <laughs> bias, I'm like, oh, okay, I do that too. So yeah, personally, I like Joe Shan's performance, but I really can objectively say that all three performances are incredibly strong. And whichever one might be your preference, fair enough. They're all pretty darn good. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby. Some people want diamond rings, and some just 
want everything, but everything it means nothing if I ain't got you. Yes. Hello, my friends. Rosette here. Firstly, I want to start by thanking all of you for subscribing to our Billy Billy monthly membership. We never even announced it. We never even promoted it. And yet here you are. We are flattered. We are touched. Thank you. So we've been thinking long and hard about what we can offer you guys as far as exclusive perks go. And here's what we came up with. If you are a monthly member on Billy Billy, you can now participate by sending us a video of you for me to review. Our plan is to choose five videos per month if we have enough qualifying submissions, which will go into a brand new one take challenge reaction episode. Here are the rules. Number one, you can only submit a video of yourself. It has to be you. And when you submit it, you give us permission to use your video on our channel. Rule number two, this is a one take challenge, my friends. So no camera cuts, no pitch correction, no big editing. If you are an industry professional and you want to do a little mixing, add a little bit of reverb, be my guest. But if you start adding pitch correction and editing, you know I'll probably hear it and I'll probably point it out. So one take. Please sound human. Rule number three, each member can only submit one video per month and that video can be only one song, three to five minutes long. Rule number four, you can wear a mask if you like. I would be happy to review a video of a Batman or Spider-Man or whoever you might be, but I have to see your mouth. I have to see your lips and your mouth, okay? Rule number five, video quality. It's gotta be decent. You can use your phone, you can use whatever, but it has to look good, at least 720p HD. Rule number six, sound quality has to be pretty darn good. I need to be able to hear you, your voice clearly. So don't shoot this video in a karaoke bar or at a bus stop or out in public. No ambient noise clinking and clanking and forks and knives and stuff. I need to hear your vocal detail clearly. And for me, I promise to give you the same love and compassion and respect that I give all the artists I review and the same critical eye. I am freaking stoked. Send your videos. Let's go.